hello guys welcome back again to my channel this is vivian alpha here again so today we are going to be making a booboo gown yes a booboo gown for an adult here i have my two years of fabric i have my scissors i have my ruler and i have my tape and this is the measurement the shoulder the gown length the hip the waist and the bust here i have my pins and my chalk so we're going to be folding the fabric into two is already i folded it into two already and we are going to after folding it into two you're going to fold it into four that is what i'm doing here i'm folding it into four As you can see here, I folded it into four. This is two, and that's two under. That is four. So right now, is you're going to arrange it very well. I'm trying to check if it is equal under it and on top of it. You have to make it equal. So now I want to measure the gown length. The length of the gown is thirty-two plus one inches for folding that is 33 and that is what i'm measuring here i'm going to rule it out i'm done measuring it so i'm going to take the length take it down more to measure it and i'll take my ruler and rule it out so i can cut it out so right now since it's, a, it's going to be um a booboo dress the shoulder is going to be 19 from my shoulder to my hand 19 then this is the armhole 9 inches from the armhole i'm going to measure the waist with 8 inches i'm coming down to the waist 8 inches and from the waist to the hip is 9 inches i'm going to rule out with chalk Yes, I'm drawing it out with chalk now so I can see it. When you get to the armhole, you cover it. You cover it like an armhole cover, but it's just with one inch. I'm going to show you guys when we get there. So now I'm taking the neck measurement with four inches, the width with four inches. You can take three if you're not too fat. Then here I'm taking three and a half to make it low a little bit and i'm going to curve it round the neck so i'm cutting it out right now if you haven't subscribed to this channel please click on the red button down below and click the subscribe button so you can get notified when i upload a new video like this and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back please don't forget to like share this video so right now finish cutting it right now i've not shaped it already i'm going to show you guys how i'm going to shape the armhole so you can you can understand what i am doing here so right now i'm going to split the shoulder can see how i'm going to split it now i'm splitting it open and i'm splitting the other side open too so right now i'm done splitting it and i have separated the front and the back together 
so right now i want to curve them i'm coming down with two inches two inches down and i'll chuck it then two one two inches upward yeah two inches upward you can see that two inches and i'm going to draw it draw out the line you can see how i shaped it just a little shape not much shape because it's a bubble dress it doesn't have much this more much shape like that right now i ruled it out very well and i'm going to cut it out first of all you can see the shape i gave it So right now I'm trying to cut the facing for the front neck. You can see how I did that. That's how to cut the facing. You're going to put a material down and fix the neck so you can get it right and cut it out like I did here. Make sure it is equal so you won't have any mistakes. So right now. I am going to measure the neck, make sure it is equal. The style has this um, opening at the center of the front neck, so that's what I'm trying to do. It's with three inches. I did that to the facing also, three inches, and I'm going to cut it straight. I'm done cutting it now. I'm trying to give it a round shape to look good inside. You can see that I'm trying to give it a round shape to look good. And this is how I'm going to cut the back also. I'll show you guys how I did that. So now take a look at this. This is the front. I'll fix the facing on it so you get a picture of what I'm doing here. So this is how I'm going to sew it. I'm going to sew it from there, that neck here, with the V, then back to the neck. You can see that. Then I'm going to turn it. Turn it out so you. This is how I'm going to fix it while sewing it. You can see how it looks. First of all, I'm going to sew it round so I can hem it. Now this is how I'm going to cut the neck also. The same thing I did to the front neck. But this one doesn't have the splitting, the V, the front has. I won't do that to the front, to the back. Right now, make sure it is equal so you won't have any mistakes. So right now, I'm going to cut it out. You can see that. So I'm going to take the front and place it together so I can give it the same shape I gave to the front so they can be equal together. Make sure they are equal. And now I'm giving it the same shape I gave the front. I'm cutting it together so they can be equal. So I'm done cutting it and that's the last part of it. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please click on the red button down below to subscribe. Thank you for watching this video.